past the ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. I've been around the world and I've I've traveled and I've seen many things. And the thing that I saw that disturbed me, it disturbed my inner peace. It disturbed the soul that the Lord invested in me. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I want to be loved. But want to be loved by who? Everybody can't give out love. I know that the Lord's love is endless. And that the Lord gave us his only son. Mm, mm, mm. The Lord is selfless, ladies and gentlemen. Why can't you come to the understanding that the Lord placed ankles on your foot so you can walk to the church. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we don't need to be in these fancy cars. We don't need to be on these buses. The church is us, and the book is life, and we are the pages in that life. Now, if your pages so happen to get crinkled or wrinkled, and you need to be purified, then take a dip in the everlasting life of water. H2O, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to talk about being hydrated. What is it being hydrated when you dehydrated and you devalue your self-trust? Mm, mm, mm. I want to be sacred. I want to be loyal. I want to be one of the, the, the few. I want to be part of that 144,000. Ladies and gentlemen, this is packed and ridiculous, and it is ridiculous that the faith has been lost in you. <laughs> Successful, unsuccessful novelist, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted to say. Listen to me, my children. We sing the song of peace. <laughs> now, these vocal cords that you hear, ladies and gentlemen. I had one of my deacons come to me and tell me that he trusted, entrusted in me. That he had a confession to tell the father. And I looked at him. I said, I'm not your father. He said, but Pastor Ridiculous. I said, yes, child. What can I do for you? Nothing that the Lord can do for you. I am his true and one and only future pastor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Ridiculous. And I'm signing off because the miracles... Has been bestowed upon the church. Ladies and gentlemen. I gotta go.